day, but still happy Thanksgiving to everybody in case you get a chance to join in yesterday. Our crazy hats are in the other room, huh? But we're gonna put those on later on, finish uh, maybe tackle decorating the outside, maybe do a little bit of shopping today. You wanna buy some presents today? Mm -hmm. Oh, my heard in my ear. I'm hurting your ear. Yep. That's not the first time that's ever been said to me. Good morning, Amber. Good morning, Tiffany. Oh, friends. <coughs> it's so good to be with you guys this morning. Hope you had a great day yesterday. Honestly, ours was was uh, totally different than we've ever experienced. And in that way, it was really cool. Um, all of our kids contributed to Thanksgiving dinner because we didn't have the normal um, grandparents and aunts and uncles all around to kind of jump in and contribute. So Maddie learned how to make mashed potatoes. Abby made the most amazing chocolate chip cookies. Um, Noah learned how to make green beans, not green bean casserole. So hate us if you want to hate us. We are not fans of green bean casserole. We have not figured that out. But just straight up green beans are amazing. So we spent the day playing games and laughing and singing. Actually had a good walk and some hard talks as well because just sometimes it's during these seasons of Thanksgiving that that – uh, both positive and negative emotions come out because our experiences, we tend to want to stuff away the bad and only promote the good. And I think in that, that's how resentment and bitterness grows. And so yesterday, just kind of randomly was reminded of Psalm 86, which is one of my favorite Psalms. And this morning reading it over again, it says, it says this, it says, be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all the day. Gladden the heart of your servant for to you, Lord, do I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast all, love to all who call upon you. And I've been just thinking about what it means to lift up my soul to God, what it means to cry out to him all the day. And I think the thing I've been kind of convicted of is I really cry out to try to make God or almost even manipulate God to do what I want him to do, to make my life better by my estimation, by my viewpoint by uh, giving me more things or more experiences or more comfort, more safety, more money, more a larger church, more freedoms, all kinds of different things like that. But reading this, he says, for, um, for to you, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Here's the reason why. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Later on, he would say, for there are no other gods among you, you um, no, nor are there any works like yours. For you're great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. I give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love toward me. You have delivered my soul from Sheol, from hell. But to you, O Lord, you are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant and save the son of your maidservant. And just thinking about that and thinking about, man, I just, I want to be honest with you. I settle, C.S. Lewis says this. He says that because we can't imagine what it's like at a day, uh, uh, because we cannot imagine what a full day at sea would be like, we settle for mud pies. And I'm just looking at my life and thinking about the things I pray for, the things I long for, the things that are just inside me that are just silly and stupid, and yet they're the things that, that I long for. When God's saving me from hell, giving me a relationship with him, that he is always forever steadfast in his love for me, that he is gracious and kind and merciful. And I'm like, yeah, that's all great, but can you give me more money? Like, it's just, it's silly. And so today, shop, I'm going to shop, we're going to buy presents, we're going to have fun things. But I think one of the ways that we can say, Lord, glad in the soul of your servant if, is if those things aren't tied to our soul. If they're just something that we do and we have fun with in a way that we demonstrate love towards others because God is generous and good. And so his goodness towards us, his gifts towards us, that that's what today's about. Today's not about buying out of obligation or out of abundance or um, in order to, to put more things underneath a tree or to impress people, it's that we get to share the love of God because he's given us all the love that we'll ever need. And so God, thank you so much. And I pray and I repent for just my materialism, my idolatry, my selfishness, my ways that I even try to use prayer to manipulate you. And Father, the way that I use gift giving to glorify myself and instead, God, I pray for this Christmas season that it wouldn't actually be about the number of gifts or the amount of money I spend. God, I, 
I hope I go over my budget. I hope I spend too much. I hope I buy too many things, but I hope it's because they're bought out of, out of the abundance of knowledge and growth and gladness in you. God, I want to be good and generous and kind to others because you're good and generous and kind to me. You're good and generous and kind to Titus. And so, God, I pray that I would value relationships more, time more, connection more. God, this year has taught me so much the value of a smile, of face-to-face, of hugs and touches. And so, God, I pray for those things. The depth of which they touch my soul, my mind, my heart. God, I thank you that you have done all of that. You've wired us this way and that you took on flesh and that you love us, that you touch our hearts, that you renew our minds, and that you save our souls. And it's in your son's name I pray, amen. Love you guys, praying for you, pray for me, have a great day. See you soon.